Do you know what this says? It says, go blue. Hey everyone, Miss Reimer here with Music Teacher Message. So today's video is gonna be kind of different. Um, <laughs> I hope you like it. Tomorrow I'm doing something really exciting for me, um, but I'm afraid I won't give it a good introduction, so I wanted to shoot the intro today and then everything else will be tomorrow. So, um, the last couple of months, see so starting right after Christmas, I decided I wanted to apply to graduate school. And for my youngest viewers, that means like going back to college again. So I have my bachelor's degree. Um, you go to grad school and get your master's next if you want to like do more school and then your doctorate comes last. Um, so I have my bachelor's degree and you know, I feel like I do a good job teaching. Um, but I think that there are some things that, you know, I, I would like to learn a little bit more about. So. Anyway, I decided right after Christmas to like definitely apply. I'd been thinking about it for a couple of years and it just seemed like it was the right time. So um, it's been a couple of months of like writing essays and I had to submit a video. Um, I had to get letters of recommendation ready and you know, get my transcripts sent over and it, it's just been <laughs> actually a lot of work. Um, but you know that's the process so that's been a lot of my free time since Christmas and um, anyway so I applied to the University of Michigan and I got an email inviting me to come and interview for them so I made it to the final round which I'm super excited about so I'm going to Ann Arbor which is where the University of Michigan is if you didn't know um, so I'm going to Ann Arbor tomorrow to interview for them and um, yeah, I thought I would bring you guys along. Obviously, I'm not going to record in the interview. That wouldn't be okay. Um, and I'm not sure how much I'm going to film beforehand. I'm, I was afraid I would be a little bit nervous tomorrow morning and wouldn't do a good job of like explaining what I'm doing. So I wanted to do that today. Um, today, I'm just kind of going through everything and making sure I have what I need, uh, making sure my outfit is ready. Um, I find my earrings and my bracelet. I switched back to my Michigan band. Um, I even color coded the like words on my watch so that it'll match my outfit tomorrow. Uh, got my hair cut two days ago. Uh, you know, I'm doing like that kind of little stuff. I've already fixed up my, or like updated my um, teaching portfolio and you know, I've got all of that kind of stuff ready. So today's just kind of like the little stuff. Um, but anyway, so that's what I'm up to. It's been, yeah, like two and a half months of work leading up to tomorrow. So um, hopefully everything goes well. Um, I'm going to head to Ann Arbor with, um, it was gonna be just my mom and then it sounds like my dad's going as well. So they kind of thought that I could relax a little bit more if I didn't have to worry about driving in a city where I've never driven before and trying to find parking because there's no parking anywhere close to the building where I'm going to be doing the interview or being interviewed. Um, so they told me, um, Michigan sent me an email saying be prepared to walk 20 minutes from your car to the building. And um, yeah, so my parents were like, you know what, if we drive you, you can just like chill and then um, you know, and then they can drop me off right at the door basically and I won't have to walk and show up all windblown or sweaty or wet if it's raining or who knows what's gonna happen. So anyway, that's kind of the plan. So there's your intro and now we're gonna skip into the day of the interview. Good morning. It's the big day. All right, um, so I am ready, just packed to the car. Um, I'm going in comfy clothes. I've got jeans and my Michigan shirt on. And um, I didn't want to go in my dress clothes and then worry about wrinkling them or spilling or anything like that. 
So um, it's a couple hour drive. Once we are close, then I'm going to um, find a bathroom somewhere where I can change into my dress clothes and then go do the interview. So um, we're gonna get on the road here in just a couple minutes. And yeah, that's all for now. Okay, quick update. We are in Waterville, Ohio, home of the world's cleanest bathroom. So we're getting gas and a bathroom break and then back on the road. Look at all these Wolverines. All right, going in for the interview now. Here we go. Okay, it is future self. I am currently editing uh, the video that you are watching. So we just had this clip where I was walking into, um, I was walking into the building to do my interview. The next clip is an hour later. So I just kind of wanted to fill you in on what happened in that hour. So first I met with um, somebody in the admissions office and we were just kind of talking through like a couple of things about if I were to get in and did I have any questions while I was there on campus and stuff like that. Um, then I had my interview and that I thought went very well. Um, yeah, we had a, a lovely conversation about music education and about the University of Michigan. They of course were asking me lots of questions about me and my teaching and what I want to do in the future and stuff like that. Um, but anyway, so I didn't record any of that of course. And then after the interview, I was offered a tour of the music building, which was pretty cool. So a current grad student who works in the admissions office um, took me around the music building and we didn't see everything. It's a huge building. Um, but one thing I thought was really cool was they have these like display cases throughout the building with like old instruments and some of them are, are a little, you know, unusual. It's not something that you see every day. And I didn't record anything while she was with me, but then when she walked me like to kind of like the front door, um, then she left and I was like, yeah, I know where I'm going, this is fine, you know, and she was like, okay, I'm gonna go back upstairs, leave you here, this is the exit, whatever. Well, right there, there were um, a couple of display cases with some of these um, unique instruments. <laughs> so I got my phone out real quick and recorded just a smidge so that you could see what I was looking at. Um, anyway, so that's, that's next. Um, at the end of all of that, I went outside and my parents had parked the car. They actually found a spot, which was a miracle. Um, and so my mom was with the car just like down the road a little bit. And then my dad was kind of halfway in between. So I caught up with him. We found these cool flowers. I think they're called snowdrops. And um, they uh, usually come out like first thing in the spring. So he saw some of those, it was cool. Cause that was like the first flowers I'd seen of spring. Um, then after that we met up with my mom and then there were like two things that we really wanted to see while we were on campus. Um, one was Schembechler Hall, which is named after Bo Schembechler, who was a uh, University of Michigan football coach. Just chilling with my buddy Bo. So we went to this building and it's, um, it's kind of like a little museum for the University of Michigan's football team. Um, and so we were just kind of bumming around in there. Um, and they have all kinds of really cool things just from like old pictures to they have this like huge thing in the middle of the room. Um, and it's like a special football from like every single game that they've played in. 
and then it has like the black M for like Michigan of course but then it has like the symbol for the other team that they were playing and this thing is, is just full of football anyway it was cool and then they had a special display case that was full of like this year's footballs for like all the games that they've played this year um, but anyway, so we got to look around. They had some information on um, the marching band at Michigan and the fight song. And, you know, this was this was pretty cool. Um, John Philip Sousa, who was like super famous composer, wrote things like Stars and Stripes Forever. Um, he called the Michigan fight song the best college march ever written. I thought that was cool. Um, so anyway, so we just kind of had fun looking around in there. We also got to see Gerald Ford's old football helmet. And Gerald Ford, if you didn't know, was a president of the United States and he played football for the University of Michigan. How cool is that? Um, after that, we drove over to the big house, which is Michigan Stadium, where the football team plays. This is the stadium. Um, so we went over there and I think I've been there before. It's just been a long time. So we drove over there and then got out really quick. We gotta get out and take pictures, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. We just got to the big house. Oh yeah. That's kind of it for the day. Um, I didn't talk to the camera much after the, the interview because number one, I was talking to my parents about the interview and giving them like kind of details about things we were talking about in the interview and I didn't want this you know that stuff in this video um, and number two I was exhausted I was a little nervous going into the interview as you are it's a huge opportunity that you don't want to blow um, and so when it was all over with I just I don't know I just got really tired and I was really hungry because I hadn't really eaten that day and everything else so all in all it was a wonderful day um, they told me at the end of the interview it would be um, results the following week so seven to eleven days of waiting so now we wait and cross all of our fingers and toes and everything else and uh, I'll let you know what happens but thank you for watching if you've made it all the way to the end of the video thank you I know this was a long one but it was an exciting day for me, so I wanted to share it with you because I thought maybe you would enjoy it. So thanks again, and I will see you next time. Bye. Go blue.